What's up everyone, I'm Jason with Defy Fitness. So what I'd like to do today is not one of my typical videos. So what I'd like to do is kind of a workout equipment comparison and review. So I actually was lucky enough to get my hands on this Magrip medium uh, width pronated uh, handles. And I'd like to compare it with the um, kind of knockoff uh, Walmart Everyday Essentials uh, lap pull down attachment which is the same, it's a medium grip or medium width and it is a neutral grip so that the grips here you see at are 90 degrees. At first glance, actually both look very similar. Uh, both have a very kind of nice rubberized texture material to it. Um, I must say that the knockoff ones actually feel a little bit nicer because it actually feels kind of softer to me. Um, so in that respect, I actually give a point to the knockoffs. My main concern with it is actually longevity. So, uh, which brings me to actually a bit of a, a negative. So the rubber finish goes all the way around the hole where the carabiner would go on. After a while, I found that the carabiner hook would actually rub off the rubber and actually kind of tear it a bit on the uh, knockoff version. So to me, the largest downside to these knockoffs was the smell. So it does have this kind of rubber, kind of toxic smell to it. And I was hoping that the smell would go away. And in general, it didn't stink up the room anymore after like one or two days. Every pull down when I pull down, this thing kind of moves by my nose and I can really smell it. That's kind of the bad thing with it. So, um, which I found the mag grips did not have. The smell to it was kind of a, normal rubberish smell, but nothing like that kind of says is toxic. Uh, I got them really easily off the walmart.com site. I will actually leave the link in the description below. So hopefully they have them in stock. I got actually the May grips. I believe this one was about $60 US. Um, I did get a second one that was a supinated grip. That was another $60. And I got a close grip, which was a little bit less, I think at $50. And when everything was said and done with the shipping and uh, taxes and duty, that was close to 400 bucks as well. So the difficult thing for me was more so is being in Canada, I actually had to get these um, ordered and shipped to a second party uh, company that then shipped it to me. So when everything was said and done, now this actually comes in a set of five. So you actually get like a medium grip, uh, neutral. Um, you get another medium grip neutral, which was the angle is actually just slightly wider. You get a really wide grip and then you do get two close grips. So one was kind of more of a neutral position and one was a supinated position. So for all five, they actually, it actually costs $130 US plus tax. Now for me being in Canada, after everything was said and done, after uh, shipping, um, you know, currency exchange to Canadian and with taxes and duties, this worked out for the set of five to be almost $400. So my final verdict with this is, in my opinion, I actually really like the mag grips. So hopefully this video helped you decide between the knockoffs or the original mag grips. If you like this video and you wanna see more, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Jason Defy Fitness and I'll see you next time.